Okay, what's up everybody? Um, I got my buddy's 2006 Pontiac Torrent here. Um, I'm doing a compression check. Uh, I'm, I started with cylinder two because this is the front and it's the easiest. Uh, the back is kind of a pain in the butt to get to. One, three, and five is kind of hard to get to, but actually you can kind of tell a little bit by just doing the front, but you still want to do the back too. Um, it's overheating. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, it may have a bad head gasket because I'm not even getting t uh, 90 psi. It's about it's about mm, 80 80 psi on cylinder two. So I'm going to guess that the head gasket is probably bad. Uh, I'll do a wet a wet compression check here in a minute. Um, I'll have to put a little bit of oil into the cylinder and do a wet test um, because it could very be very well be the rings um, but you do the wet compression check to see if maybe it's the rings because if the values don't change then you know it's the head gasket but if the values do change then you know it's the rings um, so what we got going on is I'm trying to figure out because it's been overheating but it hasn't really been burning water and it hasn't been losing water so that's the weirdest part of it all but but whenever the head gasket was bad on my car it didn't get hot it, it didn't really act up until it got colder and then it would act up but if it was nice and warm outside it would run pretty decent it used a lot of fuel but it used more fuel but anyways I'm gonna finish up this compression check uh, anyways what you got here is I'll, I'll show you what I'm working with um, basically it's just the little cheap compression checker from actually Harbor Freight like I say it's not even hitting 90 psi uh, the first check I did was only at like 60, but I don't think I was cranking it long enough um, because you should do it for about 10 seconds. Um, that compression is quite low. I, I don't have a book. I have been trying to look it up online, but I can't get a damn answer, of course, of what exactly. Um, but there was one forum that they was getting about 140 or 160 PSI uh, so and this ain't even close to that um, out of a 3.4 liter V6 I'm, I'm thinking it should be probably at least 150 PSI it should be at least that I would think even with low compression it still should be about 150 psi but this thing is dirt low at 80 psi so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, cylinder four and and I'm gonna I'm gonna see what happens with it so I'm gonna put the uh, oh yeah and there's a little release button on the side of it to release the pressure. I'm gonna go ahead and move this to cylinder four and I'm gonna do a dry test on four. Um, I'd really like to get this figured out for him because you know he's got he needs an SUV because he's got uh, a country started over there at his house um, with all the population. Uh, so, anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and get this moved over to cylinder four and do the compression check. I'm doing it dry. Um, just checking these two will not tell you everything that's going on in the engine, but it will tell you what's going on on this side. And um, if, if four doesn't even come close to two, um, then we'll know something's probably really wrong there. Like I said, I wasn't even hitting 90 PSI, and I know it should be way higher than that. Even without a book, I'm smart enough to know that most non-turbo engines have pretty high compression, so...
Anyways, we'll I'll get that moved over and I'll, uh, we'll check that out here in a minute. Um, okay, we got it in. Uh, we got the compression gauge in cylinder two now. I've got it focused in so you can watch what it does. Um, and uh, I'll, you'll hear it cranking. So, like I say, it takes about ten seconds of cranking to get to where it's supposed to be. Okay, as you can see, that one hit about 120, uh, 120 PSI, so that's actually a little higher, but uh, I still don't think it's quite right. I don't think it's quite high enough. Um, also, there is something else that could be going on, because um, uh, I do remember reading somewhere about the actual intake gasket could be causing the problem and not just the head gasket but like I say here we are at 120 for cylinder 4 so um, I, I dare to say it I, I don't know the the plugs don't look terrible they look old and they need replaced but uh, they're not super burnt or anything so but I do know that whenever I was having the head gasket problem with with my car uh, cylinder 3 um, was messing up so and I had pretty nasty looking uh, pretty nasty looking uh, spark plugs so um, and the spark plugs don't look horrible but then again they may have been replaced and not had that much drive time put on them before it actually started acting like this. Me, I was driving mine with a bad head gasket and didn't even really realize that's what was going on uh, until I popped the head off. But we got 90, we got like, well, it's like 118 or whatever, as you can see there. It's about 118 or whatnot. Anyways. So, um, I'm, I'm probably going to go ahead and do cylinder six just, just because I'm doing it. Um, and that might tell me a little bit more because it may actually go up. So, uh, anyways, the thing is, is it, uh, it was getting a misfire in the number one cylinder. So that's technically the one I wanted to check, but being GM thinks that they have to put all this crap over the top of the back of the engine so you can't get to the spark plugs um, I may I may have I may be able to wiggle my way down in there or I may have to go in from the underneath somehow and get to it but well I can sort of get to it I may be able to get to it, it it'll be a little bit of a reach but Anyways, I know it can be done without taking everything apart, but because uh, I had a girlfriend once that had an old uh, Chevy Burrito and it had a 3.1 in it and it's pretty much the same thing as this. I think it actually uses the same block and the same heads actually. I'm not positive, but don't quote me on that part. But anyways, we're going to get down to seeing what cylinder six has to tell us um, also like I say I'm gonna try to get back to cylinder one I definitely want to get to cylinder one because that's where the computer said the misfire was at but okay so far we're at 90 118 we'll see what number six says and then we'll see what number one says for the compression and uh, uh, I'll get back to that okay now cylinder 6 is at about 95 PSI 
So there is an awfully huge variance between cylinders just on this one side. Um, like I say, I don't have my book and I don't have the compression guide. I, I don't know what the compression is supposed to be on this engine. Um, I've worked on 3.1s and 3.4s before, but I've never had to worry about the compression. Um, so, I really need to dig up a little more information on it, on what it's supposed to actually be, but I'm pretty sure it's not 60, 120, and 95, or 118. I'm pretty sure that it's not supposed to be that. Um, sometimes you do have anomalies. Occasionally, you will get slight variances. I mean, this is even with it done absolutely perfect, brand new, everything all back together and stuff. Sometimes there will be minor, and I'm talking maybe a couple of PSI between the cylinders. But technically, they should all be exactly the same. The only thing that this is telling me is this thing has probably got a bad head gasket. That's what I'm going to have to tell him, which is what I will be sending him a message here in a few telling him. It is more than likely the head gasket. Now I know this is just a dry test. I'm gonna go ahead and do a wet test for this cylinder and then see what that tells me. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that it needs a new head gasket. I'm pretty certain. It could possibly be the valves. It could very well be the uh, piston rings too. I mean, uh, those are the three main things that is going to throw your compression off. It's either going to be the rings, the valves, or the head gasket. Those are usually the three main things that throws it off. But I'm going to say it's probably the head gasket. That's about what I'm going to guess. I will know more once I pop it open. Apparently, I have to pull it apart. So, anyways, I'll still, I'll still work, uh, work around this a little bit more. I really do want to check one because it actually is the one that had the, the misfire from the computer. So, I'll get to all that, and that's, uh, that's really I gotta, I gotta, I, I gotta go ahead and I gotta check all that, and then I'll get back with you. Um, okay guys, uh, actually I did a little bit more research um, and none of the readings should be below 100 PSI. Uh, none of them. And we had the first one at 60. Um, I didn't do the wet check. Um, I am going to almost guarantee that it is the head gasket because of the overheating. Uh, as a general rule, pistons and valves won't cause overheating as much, but a bad head gasket will be a main culprit of overheating. I'm not saying that the other two can't cause overheating or they don't cause overheating. I'm going to say that it is less common. And I'm, I'm going to almost basically guarantee that it is the head gasket um, because of the overheating problem. Um, and I'd say it probably is burning off water. It's just not producing a huge cloud of smoke like normal. It's, it's, it's. I'm, I'm going to say that that's probably what's going on, more than likely. I'll guarantee it's the head gasket. So, looks like I'm going to have to pull it down to the head gasket, replace the head gaskets on both sides, because there's no point in doing one without doing the other. Um, and definitely this one is way off. It is way off. Uh, 60, 120, and 95. That is just ridiculous. Okay, it was 118. 
anyway, 61, 18, and 95. So, anyhow, guys, um, uh, I'll even I'll even be doing a little series on this, and I'll just have the camera on it and showing you different procedures and stuff for this 2006 Pontiac Torrent head gasket. That's what we're going to do. Um, so, but I have to wait until he gets me the parts and a book because I need the specifications and I'm not buying shit for this. I done told him that. He's paying for everything. What can I say? And, and I'm I'm not doing it for free. I told him it's too big of a job to be doing it for buddy price. So, anyways. <laughs> anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching. And um, I hope you all have a spectacular day or night, whichever one it is for you. Peace out.